Hey, I'm Tyler Wells. We're hanging out at Handsome Coffee Roasters downtown LA with Truffle. Our philosophy here at Handsome is pretty straightforward. Uh, we make great coffee, trying to provide a, a community venue for people to come down, gather, enjoy a great beverage, a little bit of conversation, have a good time. There's a philosophy to our roasting where we just roast the coffee to get what's, what's in and out of it, and then as a barista to brew the coffee, same thing. The trick is to not mess it up. You know, you, you gotta really let the coffee shine through, let the ingredients shine. My name's Chris Owens, co-founder of Handsome Coffee Roasters and director of coffee. The roasting process starts with 1956 Probat UG22, because in our opinion, that's the best coffee roaster that we can buy. You can kind of think of it as a giant clothes dryer with a lot of heat under it and it's made out of cast iron. So the coffee goes in that drum and the drum is rotating, heat from underneath and air moving through it and that's how we control the roast parameters. You can do any number of things with the air and the heat, all the different forms of heat and all of that's going to create a different cup profile. We like to stay on the sort of lighter end of the spectrum as it provides a little bit more fruit forward, savory characteristics where the more roast oriented you get sort of more carbony, smoky flavors, which is just the stylistic choice for us. My name is Michael Phillips. I'm a co-founder of Handsome Coffee Roasters and 2010 World Barista Champion. The most popular drink that we have at Handsome Coffee is the espresso and milk in a five ounce cup. It's that right balance between espresso and properly textured milk. Now you want to make sure that when you dose the coffee in, you have a scale ready so you can get just that right exact amount that you're looking for. In everything we do, we're creating a nice even density all the way throughout the puck so you can extract that coffee evenly. As the shot's pulling, it's pretty easy to tell visually how it's doing. You want to see it start off nice, dark, thin streams. And you'll see that color change as the extraction keeps going further in, getting a little bit lighter. And once you have a really great shot of espresso, you want to make sure that the milk is textured to the proper thickness of froth and that it's at the right temperature. Purge the steam wand to clean it off and then tap that pitcher of milk on the counter, settling out any large bubbles. After that, you give it a little swirl, which will polish the milk up so it's nice and shiny. Then it's all just a matter of combining the two together. Proper pour is a nice finishing touch, combining the espresso and milk. And that's how you have a really well-polished, tasty, delicious five-ounce espresso and milk.